part of what we wanted to accomplish today is just to talk about all the different tools that you'll see used for extrication. Obviously some fire departments will have different tools than these, different brand, uh, or they'll have more tools, they might look a little bit different, but this is a pretty good uh, basic set of extrication tools that we've got here. Um, so the most basic types of tools are hand tools. The most basic types of hand tools are just regular old prying tools. You'll hear firemen talk about a set of irons a lot. A set of irons, traditionally, is a halligan bar, which is actually a hooligan bar, but I won't go over the difference. A halligan bar looks almost identical to this. And a flat-headed axe. Uh, these are, in the fire service, these are firemen's, this is God's gift to firemen. You can do all kinds of stuff with these. Um, you'll see them used generally at house fires, but these are used also a lot of car accidents uh, to gain access to the vehicle. Andrew talked about that a little bit ago. Um, and even, you, can, you can even perform a lot of extrications just with this set of tools right here. You got a big long prying tool with plenty of leverage to pop open a door if you have to. Uh, some other hand tools are, I don't see them out here, but hacksaws. Almost every fire department carries hacksaws. You can take a whole roof off. It really sucks, but you can do a patient extrication with hacksaws if you have to. In fact, for my, Alex says it sucks, and it really does. For my, uh, for my very first vehicle extrication class, we were not allowed to use anything but hand tools. We had to completely take the roof off the vehicle and extricate a patient. Well, I was told not to get them. It's definitely possible, but uh, you're going to use up a lot of energy doing it. Uh, they just have some other prying tools set out here. This is used, this here, most people I think just call it the, I don't know what you guys call it, but a lot of people call it a can opener. It's used to cut sheet metal. And basically how it works is you stick the sheet metal down into here, kind of, and you just hammer away like this. Uh, you can use that, you can cut the sheet metal off of a door uh, to gain access to the latching mechanism. All kinds of fun stuff for that. Uh, we talked about cribbing. It's just these blocks of wood used to stabilize a vehicle. Uh, everybody probably knows what a Sawzall is or a reciprocating saw. This is one thing, if you see if, if the fire department's going to use these, these are very noisy. Make sure and explain to the patient what that noise is and what's making it, why they have to do that. Alright, now we'll get to the fun stuff. The Jaws of Life or the Hearst Tools. Um, several different names for it. At any rate, it's hydraulic rescue tools. Uh, they run on, there's a hydraulic pump. They run on oil. Oil comes through these hoses. Creates a lot of force. With these tools over here. Alright, these are called the spreaders. Okay, the spreaders are used for exactly what it sounds like, for spreading uh, doors apart, for spreading door jams, for spreading anything you can think of to spread, really. These are called the cutters, or O cutters. Some different ones are called C cutters. At any rate, they're hydraulic cutting tools. They're used for cutting things. Generally, you'll see those just used to cut the post of the vehicle, the A post, B post, C post. Okay, these are called hydraulic rams, or telescoping rams. Uh, the longer the ram, the more spreading distance. They come in all different sizes and shapes. Um, we also have some air tools out here. 
or pneumatic tools as they're sometimes called. These, again these in, in particular, are extremely noisy. The fire department's going to use these and you're going to be in the vehicle, you'll probably want to set of earplugs because these are very loud. Um, the hydraulic tools actually make the most force out of all the tools that we've got here. They have the most cutting and spreading force, but they're actually the quietest. The only thing about those that makes any noise is the power unit itself sounds like a little motor, a little five horse brick motor. Um, but the tools themselves up here, they make virtually no noise at all. Uh, the only thing that's noisy about those, like I said, is the power unit or just the sound of the sheet metal popping and breaking. This little kit over here is called the Porta Power. That's uh, actually a brand name, but nonetheless, it's called a Porta Power. These are also hydraulic tools, uh, but instead of being run by a motor, they're run by muscle. Muscle. Um, there's a whole bunch of different accessories and different components to those. You can use those for, for cutting, for spreading, for displacing things and moving them and uh, we won't get into all that because there's there's a lot you can do. Like I said, there's a lot of different little pieces there and you can change things around and do a lot of different things with it, but you don't really need to worry about that for this class. As an EMT, you won't really be expected to use any of this, um, but uh, the way things are today, there's less and less people around at car accidents, so if you happen to show up Sometimes you get three or four people on the ambulance and the fire department shows up with not enough people. Uh, they might ask you to grab something for them. Or, uh, you know, so it's at least nice to know what the stuff is called. When they go and put it away back on the rescue truck, we'll have them explain to you where stuff goes. Because um, Melissa wanted that. And uh, we're going to go ahead and have them cut one of these cars apart. Just so we can, and I'll try and explain what's going on when they're doing it. Um, because like I said, communicating with a patient, the more you can tell them about what you're doing and why you're doing it, the, the calmer they're going to be. Um, so it's nice to at least know what this stuff is called, what it's used for generally. And uh, like I said, we'll go through the process of uh, cutting a car apart and extricating a patient just so you can see it here before you have to see it in real life. 